Thanks. Hello, Ma. I just moved in over a whorehouse. I told you I was a success. She likes it when I call. Oh, that's nice. Now, look, Chandler, uh, the couch is there. My bedroom's over there. Bathroom is back behind you, and there's some stuff in the kitchen if you're hungry. You'll adore her when you meet her, Mother. Deep down inside, she's still a very nice girl. Okay, Chandler, we got a deal. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, are you all right? No. No, I'm not all right. Ah, uh, do you want me to help you to the bathroom or something? Help from you is the last thing I want. You did this to me, you and your TV. Look, I was only trying to do my job. Yeah, that's what Eichmann said. Because of you, there were 35 little people trying to kill me. I've crippled my favorite hand. I ought to sue you. Now, I got some friends in the 14th precinct. Maybe we could call them and find out who the cops were that hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Now, you stay away from the telephone. That's not part of the deal. All right. Look, can you... Well, uh, I, I, can you bend your fingers at all? I guess they're broken. Brilliant diagnosis. Now we can play doctor and nursey. Do you have anything for this? I'll look. Wrap it around. Yeah. Oh, my head is killing me. Well, you look like you could use some sleep. Have you had any recently? Sleep? I don't know. Yesterday, maybe? The day before? Sure. I bet my publisher will love it if I croak under lurid circumstances. Probably sell one or two books. Take that. What's that, cyanide? No, it's valium. And, uh, I will try not to hurt uh, you and blow your nose. Are you kidding? My eyeballs will plop out of my head. Well, give it a try because it'll make you be able to breathe better. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, well. These are splints. Yeah, oh, yeah, I swear. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. oh, it hurts when I yawn. Oh, right there. In fact, it hurts me all over. You're being very nice to me. And believe me, I'll remember when I tell the judge all about it when I go to court to sue you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Maybe it will work in my favor. Now, I think you ought to try to get some sleep. Get some sleep? Are you kidding? You think I'm that stupid? You'd have 55 camera crews crawling all over me before I got my shoes off. No, I won't. Crawling all over me. No, I told you, Chandler. A deal's a deal. Hello, Ma. She's got a heart of gold. Jewish. Roses are very rewarding, aren't they, Professor? Even in this kind of climate. But uh, they need a lot of looking after. What with all the green fly, the aphids, and black spot attacking them, they need a lot of loving. What do you use on them? Oxydemethon methyl or uh, phosphamidin? They're both excellent against the diseases that affect roses. Thank you, Rosanna. Well, you said never to come to the house, but you never mentioned the garden. My friends are always welcome. <laughs> friends, huh? You've got class, Prosser, I'll give you that. And your old lady, uh, well, forgive me, but I've been watching the house. She's uh, real back bay. Mrs. Prosser and I have been married for some years. Really? 
And uh, in all that time, she's never once questioned the fact the Rembrandt on your wall is a real Rembrandt or the Picasso or the size of this house and the professor's paycheck? She leaves business matters to me. <laughs> well, I'd like to do the same, Professor. I really would, but uh, I can't. You owe us, Prosser. I've always fulfilled my obligations, Roselli. Now, look, we've collected on that money from the collector from the Bobney, but we're on the hook, and my associates and I know much like being on the hook. I, I have been trying to find the letter. I've even hired two men to help me. You mean those two gazoonies you got running around? You have any idea what they're up to? You haven't done any better, Roselli. May I? Now, look, Professor, I'm uh, very much afraid that unless you get that item to me on time, you're going to wind up fertilizer for those exquisite roses of yours. Once you try this, I swear you're gonna like it. You practically grew up on peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Oh, mm -hmm. we are totally different people who keep totally different dilemmas, and mine just does not include <clears throat> peanut butter and bananas. All right, well, what kind of dilemmas do you keep then? Sardine on a cracker dilemmas. Ooh. Mm. Well, does that mean our sociological differences are going to be irreconcilable? I'm afraid it probably does. Well, I was an incorrigible kid from New York who was uh, lucky enough to get educated and become a teacher at Harvard. I was an Alabama wasp whose tits and ass got hired to make her a TV star. Mostly ass. I got a great ass. Want to try my sandwich? Only if you'll try mine. You like it? Terrible. Yours is disgusting. But, on the other hand, give me a little more time with it. All the time you need. You don't need any more, I <laughs> <laughs> the hell is your dog, Philip Howard? Hmm. Lucas left holding the dog? Me. <laughs> you wouldn't care for some frozen ravioli, would you? Mm -hmm. I think so. Oh, for God's sake. Come on. Come on. Pizza, but what is? Well, I've heard of air conditioning before, but this is ridiculous. Chandler, where the hell are you? I don't want you to know something that's liable to get you hurt. Yeah, I'm okay. They sure as hell kick the crap out of me. It happened when I was packing. So I need you to bring me some money. Yeah, and a pair of clean socks, and most of all, my manuscript. Chandler? Chandler? Yeah, you're a real friend, Brennan. Uh-huh. Hey, when you get everything together, you call me here. What's the number? Six eight seven five four three nine. Chandler, Chandler, is she begging you or are you begging her? Chandler. I don't understand it, Howard. The guy's got no class. He's got no style. He keeps his manuscript in an enema bag. <laughs> 